Welcome back to White Knight. Alright, so I've made up my progress that I lost at the end of the last episode by dying. And I think I know what to do, roughly. Let's, alright, let's get a fresh match. Fill up as much as possible. Alright, I just need to get past the first one, and then I think I'm good. The first ghost. I think she appears right here, right? No? She didn't appear this time. Okay, that's good. Alright, alright. Um, now, this way is blocked, right? Yeah, yeah, she's right there. Alright, so I need to go this way. Oh god, camera angles, come on. Okay, and I need to go this way. Here we go. Into the safety of the light here, yeah. So this is where I need to go. If you go the other way, you go down the main corridor, and then the same shadow appears there and just kills you. But if we go here... I can... Well, I can not only save, which I'm going to do so I don't lose my progress again, but now I can go back to the library and put this knife where it belongs. Now, what that's actually going to do, I have no idea. But there's one slot left to put a knife in, so I think that's what I'm supposed to do. Also, I feel like I'm going to sneeze, so apologies if I do. I feel it coming. It's coming. Now I feel like going away. Yeah, because I'm not going to sneeze. Alright, Virginia. Apologies. Oh yeah, the match. Just a picture, I thought. And I stuck the blade. The mechanical clicking sounded like a relief to my soul. Wait, where's the click? Over here? Where was it? Oh wait, I think I am going to sneeze. I feel like coming back. <laughs> oh, come on, just let me sneeze. I hate it. I hate half sneezes. So uncomfortable. I just want to go snort, like, chili powder or pepper or something just to force me to sneeze. Hey, wait a minute. The lamp is knocked over. Totally broken. Hm. Oh, is it this that moved? This looks different. Or wait, did I read this before? I can't remember. Mm, yeah, this is new. Note to self, the shadows move. Mother, or should I say what is left of her, seems to evolve over time. First she was very static, as if trapped in her own nightmare. Now she's moving around the house as she used to when she was blind, shortly before she died. Margaret is waiting behind the doors, where she is standing in obscene and twisted postures, inherited from her insane mind. I cannot move without fearing her claws. Is this new as well? Do, do, do. Yeah, this is new. William Vesper's Diary, excerpt number 3. March 10th, 1935. The bone fragments and the weapons found by Rivera at the Mexican dig site of... Oh god, how do you pronounce that? Tio, I got that part. Tio... I, I, I'm sorry, I can't do it. I'm just going to call it Tio. At the Mexican dig site of Tio, are here at last. He was true to his word, but I still paid good money for it. The Mesoamerican pyramids of this site are among the biggest of the region although they were built two centuries before Christ. The human remains, which were found under the Pyramid of the Moon, confirm my theories. These victims were probably sacrifices. Rivera tells me he found at least four of them, with their arms tied behind their back. They were sacrificed to the great goddess of Tio, a great honor. The knife is very well preserved. Since I sharpened it, it seems ready to serve the goddess again. I must study the rites of the killing ceremony. I'll ask the bodies to be shipped to me. 
Oh my god, he was planning a ritual. He was. Jesus Christ, William. Okay, um... So what actually opened? I mean, this stuff seems new, so this... And this looks different, so I guess this... I'm not entirely sure what happened here. The bookcases, like, rearranged themselves or something? I'm a little bit confused. Because I'm not really sure how this helps me. It helps me understand the story a little bit, but I'm not sure how it helps me progress. I could try opening this again, but she's still going to be there, isn't she? Yeah. I wonder if I can make her chase me. And then blast her with the light. You think? I doubt it, because if I could have done that, then I could have done that before, right? The only new thing I've done is the knife, and that caused a click to activate somewhere, which seems to have revealed a couple notes that don't seem particularly important to advancing. So yeah, I'm a little bit confused. And all these notes I've already read, right? Yep. Hmm. Yeah, I'm confused. Let me see if I can have her follow me. Okay, I can't see. Okay, I'm dead. That's a very bad time for my, my match to go out. Alright, I'll be right back. Oh, here we go. Okay, yeah, so the little... When the little click happened, when I inserted the knife, it, it showed something very quickly as to where the click happened. Like, where the click came from, what had been unlocked. And I didn't really catch it fully the first time. It wasn't back there where I found the two notes. Those notes I just had missed before. It's actually here. It it just happened way too quick, but it, it showed some footsteps walking into some bookcases. And these are the footsteps on the ground right here. Leading to the bookcases. These footprints. Selena's, probably. Was she hurt? Ah, here we go. This looks suspicious. Mm hmm. Light switch. There's probably no light switch. Oh wait, what was that? Oh, there is, but does it work? Switch didn't do anything. The wire was probably unplugged. Okay, let's follow it. I hear a noise. Sounds like the wind. Like whistling. Oh god, it goes through the door? I don't think I want to go through there just yet until I finish with this room. No, we got eight matches here. I've got plenty of time. I'm good. I don't need to turn the light on just right now. Okay, start from the beginning. This map of the ground ground floor would probably be helpful. Oh, is it in here? Oh, here we go. Is it helpful? I really don't know if it is. Or even am I on the map? 
That leads to the corridor. Okay, I see that. Okay, so it looks like the the big long corridor, kind of in the center of the house. I believe that's where her shadow is. Margaret's shadow, who tries to kill me if I go near her. So I think she's protecting the stairs. Because it looks like if you keep going back there, you can f take the stairs up. Yeah, so I think she's protecting access to the second floor of the house. And right now, let's see, over to the library. Okay, so I'm in the large room just to the left of the stairs. Because two rooms from the left of the stairs is the library where I was just at. And I just went through the wall to the room just to the right of the library, which is in between the library and the stairs. Okay. Okay, yeah, that is actually helpful. That is. These sketches of naked bodies were drawn nervously, like an urgency. I can't even tell they're drawings of naked bodies. Oh, this is a lovely camera angle. I like it. Staring out the blinds into the night, the cool night air, sitting in the darkness, about to be eaten by a ghost. Okay, oh god. Oh god, come on. Come on! Dude! Thank you. Yeah, the controller actually starts to rumble if you stay in the dark too long. Enough to keep curious eyes away. Oh. She's in the chair. Uh, I probably don't want to go near her. March 3rd, 1921. The phase of the moon is obviously important. I think he mentioned it in regards to the ritual. And I remember at the start of the game, we did see the moon was at pretty much halfway. Yeah, I'm gonna stay away from her. press clippings were all referring to the Black Lake Wolf, some serial killer going after women in the area. Some serial killer. That would be William, wouldn't it? The character with the lamp used to carry a light bulb. Okay, so if I can find a light bulb, I can put it there and... Oh. And drive her out of the chair. I don't like the fact that she's simply in this room with me. That's very disturbing. She could get up at any moment. The victims were all women from the lower classes. Already bled dry by the depression. Who could be collecting these kinds of clippings? Something was telling me it wasn't the work of a kid. August 28th, 1912. William's first record. Debussy's Claire de Lune. The woman looked terrified, a feeling I knew all too well. Whoops. I 
I feel like if I run, the matches go out faster. Wait. A wire, it's like a human life. Follow it and you'll see it always ends up somewhere. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I suspect if you run, the match goes out faster. Ooh, save point. I had to find a better source of light. Oh, right. Okay, I have to make the place... I have to make the place safe first. From Selena to William, excerpt 3. We spend the summer of 1935 partying. Jim is constantly introducing us to new people. It is his job as a producer, he says. He pays for everything. He always makes me drink too much, arguing that Scandinavian girls can drink. Well, I can't, but I love alcohol. I enjoy whiskey, and I often end up drunk. We play one concert after the other, all along the coast. At the end of the show, people come to see me, offer me flowers, tell me they wouldn't miss any of my performances for any reason. It's hard to believe, but I feel I'm changing already. My eyes are getting used to the spotlights. I feel more comfortable on stage, and I learn how to seduce the audience. How to seduce men, as well. They like me. They think I'm beautiful, and I take advantage of it. We rehearse at Gatz's. He is our drummer. As he has a spare room, I end up living there for good. My parents try to stop me, but I'm growing up, and there's nothing they could do. I believe they figured how all this would end. Selena Sandvik, again. The owner had an obsession with the singer. William Vesper's Diary, Excerpt 13. February 20th, 1932. As I came home from the smoke and mirrors, her voice kept clinging to my soul. That girl is fantastic. She introduced herself under the name Selena. She has just arrived in town, it seems. Her voice holds a melancholy that sounds very familiar. She is like a moonbeam, skimming you like a cold wind from the north. In a few minutes, even the most intoxicated of the drunkards were sitting in front of the stage, some on their knees. They were crying. You can see she is young, but her voice isn't. It has the wisdom of many lives. She has rekindled a flame that faded a long time ago. My soul was cleansed by her song, as if the alchemist threw distilled water on the ashes of my unfinished work. It reminded me of an old friend, very close yet very far, except she never goes down to earth. An old friend? She never goes down to earth? Are you talking about the moon? Anyway, I think there's something very important here. So this is William. This is William talking. This is his diary. As I came home from the smoke and mirrors. So she's performing at the smoke and mirrors. That name, smoke and mirrors. I've seen it before. Look at the top left of the screen. This is a matchbook. From the smoke and mirrors. And I believe when I pick up the matches around, I'm only refilling my matchbook that I already had on me. Meaning, I have been to the Smoke and Mirrors. Meaning, I'm almost certain that I am actually William. Which I already suspected before. Yeah. I think I'm William. If only I could find a mirror to try to look in. Did I already look at what's on the table over here? Oh, there's something actually there. Looked like there was something. Oh, I can light the candle. Oh, sweet. And that should be enough for me to save, right? Mm-hmm. 
I'm just barely in the light, but I guess it's enough. Shall we track down the cord? Oh, this is where I turned on the light. Oh yeah, so if I go to the map... Um... Where'd the map go? There it was. Yeah, 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 so this is the doorway that leads out to the main hall. So I'm actually coming out, I think, right behind where Margaret's shadow kept coming out at me, I think. Oh yeah, there she is, but it's okay because the light's on. I'm safe. Okay. What the hell is that noise? It sounds wet. The wardrobe was moved a few times. Not a coincidence. Ah, I need to move it to get at the get at the plug. I needed my two hands for that. Fair enough. And that's why I need to turn the light on because you couldn't use this if the light hadn't been turned on. Gotcha. I really don't like that noise. What is that noise? Whoa. Oh. Uh. Oh, what? What the hell? Sm oh, smoke and mirrors. What was it? Some club? Yeah, that's where Selena, Selena sang. Something here was definitely wrong. Oh boy, I think I better... Oh. I think I need to follow the lights. Oh, I'm just on the verge of it. I'm just on the edge of it. I think I'm okay to go. Okay, there we go. This is so cool. This is really, really cool. That letter would be useful, I just didn't know how. <laughs> I now have the letter N. Why not? It didn't make sense. Was it real? Or was I going to wake up? This just looks so cool visually, I love it. Alright. I need to get into the spotlights. So that I don't spend too long in the dark. Now's my chance right now. Pieces of a puzzle? The clues were gathering. I needed to think. An S and an N. I'm guessing Selena is what I need to spell. The ignition key was still there. I could use the lights. <clears throat> what did that say? Who am I? Well, I don't exactly have all the letters. But I can put down the ones that I have. Yep, 
Yeah, who am I? This mark was meant for me. Someone was trying to guide me. Mm-hmm. Can I go towards the... I can't see anything. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. I can't do that. Okay, where's the other letters? I guess I'll go back. Is there any point in turning this off? I don't think so. Okay, let's just go back. Gotta wait for it to come back. So I need an L, an E, and an A. Oh yeah, some other stuff has opened up. Wait, where the hell am I? Where am I? I have no idea where I am. What the f Where am I? Was over there? That was weird. I think when the camera changed positions, it totally messed up my direction. Alright, one second, I'll be right back. Okay, let's try that again, shall we? I'm just gonna patiently wait here, okay. Alright. Yep, 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 here I am. Someone spent a lot of time cutting these letters, and it wasn't a game. So these are all the letters that I need, actually. I just needed three more, and, well, here they are. Bloody scissors were lying on the desk. I'm not sure if it does it automatically in the right order or not, or if it just goes left to right. I think it just goes left to right. So I think I need to use this one first. Mm Beacon of Light. Help me! For an instant, I thought I was lying in a bar. That Selena was just a dream born from a whiskey bottle. But no whiskey would send you this kind of angel. She was watching over me. Thank God this light is still on, or I would be long dead. Plugged in, good to go. That noise, God. All right, uh, <laughs> I need to head back. Wait, wrong side. Wait, is it the wrong side? Oh, yeah, okay. Got it. Okay, so now I should be able to turn this on, which means I should be able to get her out of the chair. The switch didn't respond. What? Oh, right, there's no bulb. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, there's no bulb. Um, I'm not really sure what to do about that, but I do know that I should save.
Okay, so I, I guess I just need to run this way, don't I? Because she's behind me, but if I run this way, I should be okay, at least for now. In fact, oh, I think that's a bulb that I see at the end of the hallway. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Fuck me. All right. So there's a ghost in the chair, there's a ghost in the hallway, there's a ghost protecting the light bulb. Slowlier. See if there's something around her. I had the feeling the shadows were feeding on her face. Ugh. There she is. She's, she's nearby. Let me just read the newspaper in front of the ghost. No big deal. The Wolf of Black Lake, August 10th, 1935. After a period of relative calm, the residents of Boston suburbs are still living in in the fear of what they now call the Wolf of Black Lake, as a reference to the poor district, where a number of prostitutes have once again disappeared these past two weeks. As the police are no longer commenting on the case, they are now accused of playing the game of the abductor, as the number of missing women is rising. Twenty-one at the latest count. The abductions happened at night, and the culprit seems to only target dark-haired women, pushing the most cautious residents to dye their hair. No corpse was found yet, nor any demand made public. It's always the poor who take the rap, as if it wasn't hard enough already, a mother confesses. Nobody gives a damn. Even journalists don't come here anymore. So, most likely William was taking dark-haired, poor women. The kind of women that nobody would bother searching for. At least nobody with money and influence. June 1911. I never told you how much I loved you. Thank you for everything. W. It's gotta be William, of course. There's there's a spirit right behind this bookcase. I just saw it moving. Oh, wait, there's there's a spirit right there. There's spirits everywhere. Okay. Holy crap. Is it gone? No, it's not gone. It's kind of, it seems it seems blinded though. William Vesper's diary, excerpt fourteen, March second, nineteen thirty-two. I don't hunt anymore. I go I go to the smoke every night, just because of her, Selena. She came all the way from Norway to settle in California with her parents. She was singing there. As her career took off, she had a relationship with a prominent producer under strong media coverage. And she ended up in Black Lake. The owner didn't know more. For everyone here, what matters is her voice. And I don't recognize myself anymore. My piano training sessions always end up as fantasized rehearsals alongside her. When I look up at Luna... I see Selena's hair shine under the light of the smoke's spotlights. I know nothing of her, yet she became everything to me. Her sadness is mine. Her loneliness is mine. Her jazz is mine. But how can I tell her these things that I take for granted? I realize how little I know about women. So, uh, can I, can I grab this light bulb? I, I don't think I can grab the light bulb. I don't, uh, no, I don't, I don't think I can. <laughs> Fucking hell. Fucking hell. What can I do? Can I push this back? No, there'd be no point in doing that anyway. If I could push this back, and if I had an axe, I could maybe gain entrance to the kitchen. Which would be quite nice, because there's a lot of matches in there. Like, 
About 70? I could try going down the hallway the other way. Oh, there she is. Oh. The Vesper couple. Would for the worst, if not for the best. Oh. Thank God this opens. Please go through. Where is this? Oh, this will take me back to the kitchen. Which is good, because that means I can get a bunch of uh, matches. A bunch of matches. There's so many in here. Okay, um... How does the light switch work? If I turn this back to, like, midway, would that do anything? Or does that just mean nothing is active? I'm pretty sure that just means nothing is active and that's bad. But if I turn the kitchen lights on, I don't think that helps anything. And the hallway lights don't seem to be helping me to accomplish what I'm trying to accomplish at the moment. Let me see if she's, like, right out here. No, that, that didn't help anything. That's pointless. The light's still not on in the place where I need to grab the light bulb. You can do it, come on. Yeah, that's completely pointless. Oh. Wait, what? I didn't, like, permanently kill her, did I? What if I do it again? that accomplished anything. I don't know if I got rid of the one that was wandering around, or if it just, like, temporarily killed it, but it certainly wouldn't get rid of the one guarding the light bulb. No. That mofo's still there. Could I kill it by turning off the light? in the hallway, and then, like, making it follow me into where the light would be, and then turning it on? It seems, I mean, it depends on how long it takes it to travel. Like, I don't know. Let's, let's get chased again. Come on. Baiting the ghost. Oh my god. Don't make me that, get that close. Come on. Jesus. Alright, let me just see whether the other ghost is actually gone. Is, is it really gone? I don't see the one wandering around anymore. I guess I really did get rid of it. Oh. What the fuck? Oh. Um. Okay. She was in the door. I don't think you can actually permanently kill them. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can just make them temporarily not able to exist in one place. Great, the door closed. Alright, well, I'm gonna have to think about this one. And in the meantime, I think I'm going to... Oh, hello. Those lovely noises. There seems to be flies following her like a cloud. Yeah. In the meantime, I think I'll end the episode here. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And I'll be back soon.